Uh, chips for kids. I uh, Chipper gets beat up on because my first year doing it, I'm out there doing the shtick and everything, and and I call Chipper a squirrel. I think oh, I remember no. that. <laughs> I think I remember that. Chipper is. Did you squirrel. end up in jail? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was close. It was, honestly, it was, it was this close. <laughs> that was pretty. Uh, they kind of let call you Chipper know. A squirrel. And you okay. know, Chip was also a female at that. Time. At that time, <laughs> yes, Pat, that is absolutely true. Right. She's like a like a trap in there. That mind is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> let us talk about our weather. It's a little wet out there. Yeah, it's just nice, a little. Yeah. According to Stu, though. Stu is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Darn near deluge. He's, he's all over it up there. Uh, right over the 101, I believe, over in the west side of the valley there, we are seeing some of that rain come down. Uh, it's just light scattered, not a big deal, but certainly enough with everybody out and about, uh, either coming home from work for folks that do have to work this week, or you're going out and doing your shopping, it's slick. Definitely slow it down and take extra caution and bring your patience as well. And don't do that thing where when you turn on your turn signal and then you try and speed up so the guy can't get into the lane. Come on, be, be kind. I hate that. Okay, here's the radar right now. Let me show you what it looks like on the Doppler radar. First off, we'll go downtown because we're getting a little bit of that action uh, really close to downtown Los Angeles, right over the 5 and the 110 meet. And then here's what it looks like over on the west end of the valley here. Hardly even showing up on the Doppler radar. However, you got that low cloud cover there and it is wet on the ground as we saw from Sky too. Pulling the picture back here, and we'll flesh out the details on our watches and warnings. We do have that coastal flood advisory. That's probably the next big weather event, aside from the rain that we're looking at, that is of concern because we are looking at the potential for some coastal flooding there because of high astronomical tides and high surf to go along with it. Also, wind advisories already pretty gusty out there. So there's a lot going on in the weather department right now. Lancaster, some westerly winds about 23 miles an hour, 23 miles an hour out of the southwest for Apple Valley. 62 degrees. For a daytime high today, and that's below average. We should be about 67. So you felt cool out there, and we had this steady stream of clouds overhead. Now, the interesting thing the cloud cover actually makes our daytime highs lower because we're getting a little less solar heating, but it brings the overnight lows up just a bit because the clouds act as a blanket. You have to get uh, clear skies to really get the bitter cold temperatures in the overnight hours. So what do we have right now? A moist northwest flow. So that's what we're seeing. We're seeing this moisture just drop right through the bottom of this trough into Southern California. And it's all being driven by an area of low pressure up to the north. There's your frontal boundary, but it's really not a factor here in the rain pushing down the coast right now. What we are going to end up with is just a very light rain here, uh, a trace to a tenth of an inch. High snow levels because it's a fairly warm air mass right now. That's going to change. We're going to see some cold air moving in by Wednesday and that's when the snow levels will drop down and then of course we got those king tides coming up in uh, just a little bit I'll show you when our next high tides are so you get an idea of what you have to plan for here uh, but we are looking at temperatures into the 50s uh, for tomorrow we'll pop it up just a little bit here are some delays out there it was a, a pretty big mess at our biggest airports across the nation you can see uh, Denver getting hit pretty hard and even delays here at LAX in and outbound so uh, a lot of travel issues gusty winds some showers out there uh, heavy surf also the bottom line on our big stories that we're talking about. Here are the numbers on the seven day forecast and you can see the temperatures hovering into the 60s really across the board. Christmas Day looks like we could see another chance for some rain. Not a big storm, uh, but uh, rain nonetheless and then we'll dry it up over the weekend. And on Saturday, how much rain did we get? Uh, this last Saturday yeah. was about a quarter of an inch. It was actually one of the bigger storms we've yeah. seen out of the last run. So Cool. I was right on the couch. Not too bad. You were on the couch reading. Enjoying <laughs> it, looking at it, marveling at the rain falling outside. It's nice to be inside when it's raining, right? That's right. Yeah. All right, JR. You bet. See you in a bit.